We're in Hawaii and we're going to show you exactly how we got here from Hoi An. So you guys might have heard of the Hai Van Pass. The Hai Van Pass is approximately 21 kilometer long mountain pass in Vietnam on the National Route 1. The Hai Van Pass places high on the list of the most scenic spots in Vietnam, making it something you definitely need to add to your bucket list. This coastal road was actually voted one of the best coastal roads in the whole of the world by Top Gear. We were absolutely buzzing. So, so excited to go on this road trip. It really did look up to its name. It was definitely one of the most beautiful landscapes I've ever seen. So sit back, enjoy the video, and come on this journey with us. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we're Tyne Soph. We quit our jobs to travel the world, and we're currently travelling through Southeast Asia. Before we leave Hoi An and get on the beautiful Hai Van Pass towards Hawaii, we stopped off at the Basket Boat Cafe in Hoi An. That's what you call a bird. Going on a basket boat <laughs> again, but this time it's longer. And it's like going through coconut palm. We've got some beers. Let's go, boss. Let's do this. <laughs> For the both of us to go on this boat ride, it cost us just 250,000 Vietnamese dong. Set in a quiet area, it was typical of a Vietnamese fishing village. You then get taken to an area that's like a big party on the river. They spin you around for 30,000 dong, but be careful because our friend paid 100,000 dong to get spun around, so just make sure that you bargain the price. A Vietnamese fisherman let us throw his cast net into the river, which was awesome. We just gave him a little tip of 20,000 to say thanks. They take you through the water coconut palm forest. It was quite touristy, but the surroundings were so beautiful. Yo, mok hai ba yo, mok hai ba yo, mok hai ba yo, mok hai ba yo. Mark, hi, bye, yo! I think he just said, pick your ass up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Pick. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was our tour guide that really topped off the experience. He made it so funny. Although it was a little touristy, it's definitely something worth doing if you're in Hoi An. We then headed to An Ban Beach to chill and watch the sunset before we take on the higher van pass tomorrow. Just me and Soph and our little 125cc moped. Hello! Hello! <laughs> yeah, we went to the basket boat cafe, had a little word in the basket boat earlier, and now we're... An Ban Beach. An Ban Beach. And we've got some sunglasses. Yeah, what's the new shade? I haven't had sunglasses for like two months. I lost it. It's quite cold. The sea is cold, it's quite cold. Will we wake? Hear the birds and see the sun. <laughs> side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. The next morning, we met with the guy who organised our trip for us. He delivered our moped to the hostel and he took our bags to be transferred in a separate vehicle all the way to Hue. He also sat down with us and talked us through the best route to take. We've got our bags and he comes at the other end. <laughs> Now to hit the road. This option that we've chosen cost 2 million Vietnamese dong. We chose this option because we got to stop when we like and we wanted the whole Top Gear experience. We couldn't continue our journey to the Hai Van Pass without, of course, stopping at the amazing Marble Mountain in Da Nang. How much is it? 20 each. I thought it was 40. Is it just to go up the elevator? Oh. We're at our first stop off, Marble Mountain. I heard it's called Mountain. Normally it's like 40k each for a ticket, but they're doing it for like 15,000 each at the moment, because I think it's because of Covid. Um, so that's good. We're going to get in this elevator over here. The elevator takes you to the top of the mountain. At least you don't have to do a hike. <laughs> yeah.
You're probably wondering what Marble Mountain is and why we just had to take a stop here. Marble Mountain is a cluster of five marble and limestone hills. It's home to a network of caves, tunnels, towers and pagodas built by the Mahayana Buddhists and the Nguyen Dynasty Kings. It truly is a beautiful area and a must visit while you're passing through Da Nang. On the, on the road, road again. again! I can't, can't wait, wait to get, get on the road, road again! again. <laughs> Although the High Van Pass is only 21 kilometres, which is around 45 minutes, the total distance for the scenic coastal road is 165 kilometres from our starting point in Hoi An to Hue. So most of the journey is actually highways and cities, so it's only a short part of the journey that is actually the coastal road of the High Van Pass. We've stopped off at Da Nang Bay now. One of the stops on our route. We're just in a Japanese restaurant, just got a little snack. Nice day, wow. Cheers! It's always a holiday. We're on holiday. It's just a long holiday. True. Woo! A little stop in the Nang to have a little dip in the water. Finally, what we've been waiting for, we've got to the beginning of the High Van Pass. The first scenic stop, the beautiful curving bay just up from the city of Da Nang. It really was a spectacular view. The beaches were completely deserted. We're on a cliff. We're on a cliff. This is one of the viewpoints on the High Van Pass. Lovely bay, lovely beach, mountains. We'd made it. We were driving through the High Van Pass, loving every second of it. The landscape was everything we read about and more. It was absolutely gorgeous. An experience we'd never forget. What a view. That beautiful view. Stopping off at the side of the road to see that. Video didn't even do it justice. We're being really quick with the photos before this monster comes towards us. It's got smoke all coming out of it. <laughs> Get on the bike, let's go! <laughs> So you guys might wonder what all the fuss is about. Well, the High Van Pass, one of the reasons it's really famous is because it was on the Top Gear special, the Vietnam special. It was a great episode, really funny, hilarious. If you like Top Gear like me, then you'll just love it. They basically bought some motorbikes and they went from Saigon to Hanoi and they did the High Van Pass. Driving through it myself just brought back a load of great feelings when I watched that episode a few years ago and now I'm traveling on this road. Absolutely incredible.
made it in made one it. piece, but the driving here is mental. So mm. if you're driving here, be careful. It's the last like hour and a half from Hoi An to here. The roads are just busy. Just one it road. probably doesn't help that we it's rush hour as well. We have to be careful. Yeah, it's a busy yeah, road. Yeah. But we're here. We've just found the guy that gave us the bike this morning as he's got our, our luggage and they're going to drop it around to our hostel now which is cool we're staying at vietnam backpackers hostel so we're here at the hostel didn't get what we were expecting <laughs> so we we booked a private room we got here and they said it's actually taken and it was wrong like on hostel world and it shouldn't have been showing up so yeah we're in a dorm uh, but yeah, it's a lot cheaper, isn't it? It's like six pounds to a nice or seven pounds. Yeah, it? but we are the only ones in here in this dorm tonight. We actually have three friends come in tomorrow, and they happen to book this hostel, and they're staying in the, the same dorm. Um, so it's worked out all right. Yeah, this is it. Is that your dorm? Vietnam Backpackers Hostel in Huey. 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 It's like a double, double one. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. It lets us know you're enjoying our content. So now we're in Hawaii, we've heard there's an abandoned water park here, which is meant to be creepy. So we're gonna be checking that one out. So make sure you subscribe to our channel if you wanna see that video. Let us know in the comments if you're gonna be doing the high van bars. Are you gonna be doing it by bus, by Jeep, or are you gonna rent a motorbike like we did? Let us know in the comments, we'd love to talk about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time, bye.